Hello, Hannah. This is Hannah. She's going to be a photographer today. Here, grab the camera. My name is Joel, and we're going to make bread, yeast bread, up in the mountains here. It's 2,300 meters in elevation. Come on around here, and I'll proof the yeast. I'm going to take some warm water, about a third of a cup. Add a little bit of a sugar, just like that much, a teaspoon or so or less. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of yeast. Then a little bit of stir. And I'm just going to leave this set over here for a little while. Put the cover on it. Um, now I'm going to melt some butter and put some spices in it. So here I got some butter. Hold on a second. much butter. I got rosemary, uh, but you can use other things, thyme. What's rosemary? Here, smell it. How's it smell? I didn't smell it. <laughs> All right, let's go over. We got some embers on the fire and let's go over and stick this on. It's not very hot, but it's good enough to melt butter. You need to blow it, don't you? Alright, let's go back over here. Um, I'm going to get some flour here. I'm just going to measure it very lightly. One cup. Cups. Three cups. About three and a half cups. Take some salt. A teaspoon of salt. Mix it up. Let's go see how the butter is doing. That's fast. Whoa! Looking pretty good, huh? Look at that. All right, now we're going to cut this back into the flour. Why don't you come look in here? I'll just pour it in around like that.
Did you get the rosemary in as well? Yeah, I, I mixed it in with the butter. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to smash this up so it's nice and put into there. Okay, why don't you pause for a little bit? Turn it off. Okay, now let's check out how our yeast is doing. Wow, oh, look at that. Very foamy. Huh? Oh. And I'm gonna add another cup of water. It's gonna be a little bit full. Look, 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 look. You spilled some. It's alright. Just a wee bit of oil too. Hey, no earthquakes. <laughs> Just kidding. Bring it out here and I'll need it. There's a test for kneading bread. What's kneading? That's where you push it like that. Oh. Take a little piece like this, flatten it out, and I stretch it out, and see how it breaks like that? That means it's not kneaded enough. You keep on kneading it until it comes apart into kind of a transparent little piece of dough. So I'll just be kneading here for a little while. You can oh. take a break. Yeah, I've been kneading for a while, about five minutes. There's no real way to say exactly how long you need to knead. I'm sure altitude plays a role. I'm sure the type of flour, all kinds of things. But now, when I stretch this out, I look through it, I can see light. And that's my sign that it's kneaded enough. So, you take this. Well, that's kind of polluted. Same thing. Take a little bit of oil. Again? Yeah, and I'm just going to coat the outside of this thing a little bit so it doesn't. I'm going to stick it back in there, put the lid on, set it off in the sun, and let it rise. Okay? All right, we're rolling. Uh, I made three. Uh, batches of dough. So there's one in there, one in here, and one in here. You can see this one's about doubled in size. 
and well, I'm going to let it, I'm going to beat it down, I'm going to let it rise again, but I'm going to let it rise right into the pan that I'll bake it in, which is this pan right here. And so here's the utensils. I got this whole fish can here. I'm going to set that in the bottom of this. This will set on top of it. The bread will be in there, and it will bake like that. All right? So let's take a little bit of flour. And I'm just going to dust this pan here and myself. Set that down in there. The fish can in the bottom of there is just to keep this pan off the bottom of that one. Hopefully it'll keep it from burning. Got the spill here. You got a pocket knife, Ben? Not on me, sorry. Oh, I got one right here. All right. Wow, what's this? I'm going to take a knife and I'm just going to give it a slice down the middle here. And that's it. Now I'm going to let it rise again. And we're going to give it another hour or two or so, or however long it takes to do the second drive. So, and that's it. Then we'll start baking. We've got some wild mushrooms that we've collected. And we're just boiling them up here. What do you think about mushrooms, Jojo? All what? right. Yeah, we're going to boil those up for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then we'll fry them a little bit. Then they'll be ready to add into anything that we eat. We're going to have them with our spaghetti sauce tonight. Okay, this has been rising for, well, some amount of time. Uh, let's take a look and see how it is. Wow, well, look at that. All right, so you see what I've got in here is just got it on this can can over like that. Uh, let's put it on the oven, on the fire. We're going to try to cook this one on the fire. Come on. Okay. I've got this on a fox fire instead of on coals uh, just so I can control the heat better all the way through the process. Okay. Let's check this out. I have a twig here. It's going to serve as our toothpick. We're going to do a dry toothpick test. Here. Come on, let's look at it. Oh, that looks pretty good. Pop this in there. Okay, let's check it out. See how it's doing. Oh my goodness, look at that. Alright. Come on over here. Whew. What? You got your... Look at that loaf of bread. Oh, Woo! That looks beautiful. Yeah, except that All you right. lost your mitten. Let's try it again. Make another loaf. What? Yes. <laughs> We're going to do three. Can I hold All right. So there's our bread. Oh, it's with sissies. It's really good. But it's yeah. And then we got spaghetti, and we got... Spaghetti sauce with spaghetti wild bread. mushrooms. Spaghetti sauce in a teapot. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Just look at that bread.